larger spoon and a chunk of bluegill. There we go, that's bigger, that's bigger. Yep, that's definitely bigger. Hey, what's up, members? Welcome back to another exciting fishing video. As you guys can see, we are on the bank today and we are going to do some micro fishing at some of these local urban spillways. It's that time of year again when the water's really, really cold on a lot of these lakes. And so this is my favorite time of the year to go uh, target some stuff like this. All I have with me is this one little rod right here. And of course, my favorite box for targeting these small spillways. My ice fishing box. Also, let's not forget, I did go to the store and pick up some Canadian night crawlers. This is the first spillway of the day right back there behind me, as you guys can see. It actually has some really good depth. Last time I was here, it has four different species of fish that I know of and some pretty mean, aggressive big ones as well. Uh, some small pan fish that I think probably grew up quite a bit the last year when we weren't here. Man, I haven't seen this tackle in a long time. It's been since, I don't know, probably February since I even busted this box out. But like I said, we are ice fishing day and this little tiny tackle catches the shit out of the open water stuff when it's really cold outside. I'm gonna start with the Swedish nipple, we call that. If you guys aren't familiar with the ice fishing stuff, we'll get ready. We're about to have a couple months of ice fishing, unfortunately, not looking forward to it. Um, just a little jigging spoon and I'm just gonna put the smallest little nub of crawlair on there. Sorry about your tail, bud. So we're just gonna go little nub. That's it, I'm, like I said, we got one pole and it's the damn cold pole, the four foot six ultra light. Look how whippy this son bitch is. You can double that over, you can triple it over, you can quadruple it over. I don't know how it's possible, but it is. Okay, let's try to catch something. I was surprised how deep it is here. It's like five or six feet. Tighten the drag a little bit. Hey, I already got one. What is it? Well, that was quick. Deal, didn't even fight. <laughs> Pulled him right up. Dropped it in his grill. It's a large mouth. God, I, I love when a plan comes together. Might be the only fish down there. I'll go ahead and say that's probably not the case though. Well, probably looks like a lot further than I actually just dropped that fish, but it was only about five feet down there. He'll be fine, guys, I swear. Everyone out here yelling at me by being cruel to fish and throwing them back too hard. Trust me, he'll be okay. I'd say Mr. Swedish Nips works. That's one of the four species I've caught in here. Got worm poo all over my hands. That's disgusting. That's why I don't like using those stupid things, but they're effective, I guess. Another one. What did we get? Oh, it's just a little blue head. I was hoping these bluegills would grow up a little bit. I'm sure there is some big ones in here actually, but not bad. Get those bass down there. Something to eat. This place must be pretty loaded. I've seen this place like crystal clear before. And while I can see down like three feet, I can't see the bottom. I like the color that it is right now. Crystal clear is kind of tough. The fish can see you and hear you really, really easy. Another one. Another one. What is it? Oh God, this is a little bait guy. Now I kind of wish I brought another pole and we could just freaking Cut this guy in half or use him whole. Look at the little guy. Thanks, little guy. Appreciate you playing. Definitely liking the Swedish nips today. I want one of the big ones though that I know live down there. I was just kind of holding it still that time. Maybe a hair of a jiggle. I like fishing like this because it allows you to catch something when the bite's super tough. And I want to show you guys all the time just different ways to get out and catch fish that you don't have to be a freaking expert to do. And you don't have to have a boat to do this. You don't have to have a kayak. You don't even gotta have expensive fishing tackle. This is a $17 rod and reel, $2 jigging spoon, and a little night crawler. Anyone can go out and do this. How's it going? I'll oh, catch some bluegill. Yep. When I walked in, there's a bunch of pheasants back here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that felt better. I don't know what that was, but it definitely felt better. It got my freaking crawler. Come on. Another one, it's gotta be a bluegill. Oh yeah, bigger bluegill. You bet, you bet. We ain't keep them today, but we could get some little baby fillets off this guy without question. This is turning into like a Swedish nipple commercial. You guys ever go micro fishing? Don't forget to bring your nipple. Okay, get out of here. I'm trying not to throw them back right here because I think it's freaking loaded with fish in the opening of this little hole right here, the little tube guy. There we go. Dice. Feels about like it's gonna feel here in Nebraska in a month and a half when we're jiggling our little Swedish nips through a crusty little hole. Ooh, sorry bud. He'll live, he'll live. Oh, okay, he might not live, it's cruel. Didn't mean to do that. I think there might be a few more bluegill though. Got one, got one. What did we catch? What did we catch? Okay, I swear I had one, but 
a caught fishing line. Yeah, that's no, we don't want that. We're taking that fishing line out of there because we're gonna snag that 300 times. Otherwise, take that home with us, throw it away. Another one. Oh yeah, another good bluegill. By good, I mean like seven inches. They're definitely not good. I've caught freaking big ones here before. Where the hell are those at? Oh, I'll take that back. Thank you. I was kind of planning to fish this and maybe catch a couple bigger bass or pikes or something in here and then downsize, but shit, everything besides the first drop right there has been a bluegill. There we go. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, biggest bluegill of the day. Of course, you know, because I lost it. Take my lines against the line. Mm -hmm. Plenty of these guys to go around. I'm about to start throwing them down there in the creek. Don't want to be catching them repeatedly. Okay. Officially getting sick catching the bluegills. The next one we get, I think I'm going to go cup bait. Just a little bit of cup bait. Good God. I mean, that's the biggest one we caught. That's a pretty good sized gill. Pretty dude. But anyways, I'm going to catch a smaller one and we're going to chop him. Maybe put that on the spoon. See if we can't catch Doc. There we go. Well, that's not as little as I was hoping for. Throw him back. We need a smaller one for cut bait. And we can make some small cut bait out of this one, but it's a decent size little bluegill for this little spillway. And another medium sized one. You know what? I'm sick of waiting. I want to try to catch some big ones. Let's cut this guy. See what lives down there that's big. Well, it seems pretty clear to me we we're going to catch plenty of fish down here, but I want to increase the size. So, upgraded to a little bit larger spoon and a chunk of bluegill cup bait. Gonna drop that down, jig it, and see what's down there. It's probably a little bit heavy for my little coal pole, but again, I want to catch something bigger. I think it's possible this will keep the bluegill off, unless they're all cannibal bluegills. This is what we've been catching big catfish on there's one. Oh my god seriously that was a big bluegill at least <laughs> really thought we were gonna keep the bluegills off with that but i guess if we're only catching big bluegills on it and then mix in whatever else cool with me freaking milfoil down there i don't know if that's actually growing or it's just blown in got freaking better grass here in our spillways and our lakes here there we go. That's bigger. That's bigger. Yep. That's definitely bigger. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. Not a gigantor bass, but it's an improvement. I mean, look at that bluegill meat chunk. I would even eat that raw. Gotta appreciate the little guys. Beautiful large head. Hell yeah. I moved over a little bit which I think helped. I think there's a bunch of bluegill over on that side over there. Every single time I don't fish with Cole, you guys are asking where he's at. He's gotta edit. The videos don't make themselves. But he would be so proud of me rocking the coal pole today. Hell, maybe we'll even send him a picture later. Rub it in. Another one. Oh, Freaking bluegill guy is getting absolutely slammed every time I drop it down. I like it a lot. If you guys are curious about the old technique, like I said, it's about five feet deep here, I would say. Apparently there's a lot of grass and shit washed in, but you don't want that on there. So you drop it through, make sure that there's no grass and stuff. Basically just by lifting up, seeing if it's mushy. And I'll lift it up about six inches to a foot off the bottom. And I've just been jiggling it one little pop and let it sit still. Most of the bites are when it's sitting still, doing nothing like that right there. Just got bumped again. Little jigging spoon like this though, if you guys have any small bodies of water or any type of bridge piling main lake spillways if you're in a boat you're on the bank whatever it's super super effective not a good bait to cast out good vertical bait though you want to fire it down there and let it flutter and fall and stuff but trust me you just want little jiggles let them see the flash let them see the bait swinging around free underneath super super effective let's see if one will eat this guy i don't know a lot of bluegill in here that looks like a bluegill kind of this is called a chubby darter Appears it's the number three size. Actually, it's one of my favorite ice fishing baits. You rip it up and it wobbles, but it also shoots forward. Hence the name Darter. I would sure think something would eat it here. Ball is pretty slow too. 
Get that one. Got one. A freaking bluegill? Okay. Well, I guess this isn't like a giant bait or anything, but I'm trying to catch bigger stuff. Freaking bluegill here are cannibals. When I said I wanted some bluegill eaters, I wasn't referring to bluegill. At least catch some big bluegill. That'd be nice. Jesus, getting slammed over here on this side. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. It's kind of hard to tell because it throws so much slack in the side of the line. Oh, I have one. <laughs> I just saw my lion swimming away. I thought maybe my, my chubby darter was darting. It was not. It was swimming. Timmy the bluegill. Alright, there's bigger shit in here, I swear, guys. I only caught a couple bass, but I had a lot higher hopes when the first drop of the spoon I caught a freaking bass. Okay, back home now, guys. Doing a little bit of editing on this video. Um didn't end up catching anything bigger, but that's okay. That's what happens sometimes when you have to fish little tiny bodies. Well, little itty bitty tiny baits. Let me know if you want to see more micro fishing videos. Um, I'm kind of at a weird place in my channel. I'm thinking about doing some different stuff. Maybe even starting a new channel, but we'll uh, probably get to that in a future video. Uh, really exciting news. Two things. Um, one, Six Cents this upcoming Black Friday is going to have a site-wide sale. Every single thing on the site. My MF -er rods. All the baits, all the rods, everything, all the gear and everything, all the apparel is going to be 20% off. Biggest sale of the entire year. It's probably going to blow out everything that's in inventory and it's already live right now. Um, you can use code BF20. That is BF20 for Black Friday 20. All the way through this upcoming Black Friday starting right now now so i'll link that down below if you want to pick up any six cents gear also i'm going to be doing a 20 percent off site-wide sale site-wide sale at the millicanfishing.com website um that way you guys can get any of your millican fishing apparel you guys want to stock up on or if you got a lucky mf or in your life treat them right go pick up some mf merch for uh for christmas i think that's the holiday coming up i don't know weather's been so weird this fall has just flown by all over the place filming and got some exciting trips coming up but i would love it really supports the channel if you use uh once again code bf20 at the melicanfishing.com website that will be on friday exclusively so it didn't start yet six cents is live as of right now go check those two out and uh, we'll catch you guys soon out of here peace